Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a little review for you on the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer. Um, I've never tried this foundation before. I bought it the other day. I'm in the shade Linen, which is number one. And I just thought I would um, try it out for the first time on camera and give you guys a little review um, to see if you're interested in buying it. So the box says it's allergy tested, 100% fragrance free, ophthalmologist tested, moderate to full coverage, natural matte finish. A foundation and concealer in one for a natural beyond perfected look that lasts all day. Lightweight moisturizing makeup covers thoroughly without clogging pores. For complete coverage, dot all over face and blend. And it's got a doe foot applicator that you can use to spot conceal and it's oil free. And this is used for um, very dry to oily skin, so it's perfect for all skin types. And this is what the bottle looks like. It's really nice and heavy. Feels very um, well made, the bottle. So it's got a little bit of the information on it. And then you unwind the lid. And it's got this really nice doe foot applicator, like a concealer would. If you're going to be using this foundation on other people, I would suggest um, getting the product from the doe foot and putting it on your hand and blending it in with a brush or a sponge But as I'm using this on myself, I'm just going to dot it straight from the bottle So I'm just gonna um, Go I've already got my moisturizer and my primer down. So I'm just gonna go straight onto the face I'm not too sure how much to put on. I'm just gonna start light first and then build it up So the applicator doesn't pick up too much product, which is nice. It's really easy to use. I'm going to bring that down my neck. And I'll go from there. So I'm going to do one half of my face with a sponge. I'm going to use the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. Just to see if there's a difference in the finish or coverage or anything like that. This blends really nice. I mean, I've only been going for about 30 seconds and already it's giving me a really nice look to the skin. Really easy to blend, which is really nice. The coverage is medium and you can build it to a full coverage, but I'm going to leave it at, I think I'm going to leave it at this for now. I don't want a really heavy look for today and I'm going to bring that onto my eyelids as well for a primer and that's all blended in that looks really nice so I'm just going to use a brush now the Real Techniques sculpting brush to apply the rest it's easy to blend with the brush as well And that's it blended with a brush. Gives you the same coverage, medium coverage. And I think I prefer the way it blends with the sponge. I think it gives you, it gives you a more natural look to the skin. And I'm now going to go in with the Naked Weightless Concealer in Light Warm. Just pop a bit of that under my eyes. Not a crazy amount. and forehead then blend in with the sponge and blend that in over my eyelids too 
I'm not gonna use a primer for my eyes today. So this is gonna act as my primer. I'm just gonna set that with my RCMA No Color Powder. And use my sponge to apply that. So I'm just starting a little bit lower than under my eyes. So like here with the most product. And then when I've got less product on the sponge, bring that up to my eyes. I've been doing this technique for about a week, week and a half, and I'm really liking the look. It just means my under eyes don't get too cakey, because the less powder is not. The least amount of powder is closest to my eyes. And I love the way using a wet sponge and setting your eyes, I love how that looks. And just make sure to set your um, eyelids with the powder. And I'm just going to set the rest of my face with my Armani Luminous Silk Powder in 4.5 and use the Real Techniques blush brush to do this. So just using patting motions. I don't want to disturb the foundation that's underneath. For my bronzer, I'm going to be using the NARS Laguna bronzer. I've never tried this either, so there'll be a little bit of a review on this one too. And I'm going to use my Morphe M530 brush. Now I've heard really great things about this bronzer from a lot of people, so hopefully it's nice. And I'm just going to apply that to the contours of my cheeks. I'm going to blend up to my temples. This colour is really nice. It's not too warm, not too cool. It's not too heavy as well. And I'm just using big circular buffing motions to blend that in. I'm going to bring that down on my jaw. hairline. I'm not going for a super strong makeup look today. More of a soft look. For my highlight today I'm going to use Becca and Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop. My um, highlighter broke while I was on holidays. It's very sad. So I've um, fixed it using some rubbing alcohol and that's why it looks like this. But, you know, it still works, which is the main thing. So I'm just applying this to the tops of my cheeks, a little bit above my brow, bringing that down in a C shape, onto the apples of my cheeks, my nose, Cupid's bow. And then for my blush, I'm going to use this colour here from the BH Cosmetics Nude Blush Palette. And I'm just going to use it, apply that using my Wet n Wild um, contour brush. I really like the shape of this for getting in between your contour and your highlight. And I'm just using a really small amount of this um, blush because it's super pigmented. This brush is so soft. I love it. Sweeping in between my highlight and contour. And I'm going to set my face using the Mario Badescu Facial Spray with Aloe, Herbs and Rose Water. I bought this the other day and I've been using it um, when I wake up in the morning just for a little bit of extra freshness. Um, this is the first time I'm going to be setting my makeup with it. So I'm using a lot of firsts in this video, I didn't realise, sorry. So I'm just going to let it dry. And I'm just going to finish my eyes off camera and then I'll be back to show you the finished look. So this is the finished makeup look. I just went for a neutral um, soft eye look with these really pretty kind of doe eye lashes and just a nice nude pink lip. Um, in terms of my thoughts on the foundation, I really like the foundation. It gives my skin such a nice... Um, natural coverage. It doesn't look too cakey. Um, it does as the um, packaging says. It gives you a medium 
coverage, buildable to, look, to a full coverage, and the uh, it says it is a natural matte finish, and I would agree with that. It does give you just like a natural look to your skin. Just makes your skin look a lot healthier. So I really like it. Um, I'm gonna go out now, and I'll um, record again this afternoon and let you know how the foundation has worn throughout the day but so far love the foundation massive fan and it's only $50 which is a really good price and you get I didn't even say how much you get you get 30 mils in the bottle and I bought mine from Mecca Cosmetics or Mecca Maxima um, and you can also buy this from David Jones or the Clinique website whatever you wherever your closest shop is but yep so far I'm recommending this product I love it so I'm gonna go now and um, I'll let you know how it looks later on thanks for watching guys bye hey guys so I've been wearing the foundation for about five and a half six hours now and I think it's held up pretty well um, this is probably how long I would typically wear um, fan like makeup for usually I wear it a little bit less actually but um, yeah it's not done too bad it doesn't look like patchy like too patchy in any places it's held on really well everywhere um, I mean it's come up on my nose a little bit but I've been wearing sunnies and things like that so that's expected that happens with any foundation that I wear the sunglasses just leave marks and take off my makeup uh, it's come off a little bit on my chin. It's a tiny bit patchy on my chin, but that's the first place that starts to break up on me. That's where I get uh, oily the most. Even though I'm, I don't have oily skin, I have really dry, like dehydrated skin. But this part, after I've been wearing makeup for like six hours, my chin starts to um, break like the foundation starts to break away from there um, but otherwise it looks pretty good like it's not too shiny or anything anywhere um, and the bronzer has held up really well actually it's not broken up it can become too patchy which after like a long time wearing um, makeup starts to do it just becomes patchy but yeah overall I'm really impressed with this foundation I would definitely recommend people to buy it. Um, obviously I have a dry skin type and it works really well on my skin type. Um, so I'm curious to see how it works on someone who's oily. Um, it claims to work for people who are very dry to oily skin so I'm not too sure how that works because usually foundations are either meant for dry skin, like if their ingredients are formulated for people with dry skin or normal skin or oily skin. So. If anyone wears that has oily skin, um, leave a comment down below and let me know what you thought about it. Um, otherwise, that's it guys. Thanks for watching this and I hope you've enjoyed this kind of video. And I will see you in my next one. Thanks guys. Bye.